Well, welcome back. Yes, if you just join us, you don't miss our top story segment. You also don't miss our news about headline review. And uh, today, won't be hot because Master Chukude is going to sit down and Yes, uh, with uh, Oga um, Ochuko to dissect within the inside paper. But you're there in time for our very first interview. And this one, uh, it affects everybody. Oh, yes. Now, matter when concerned within the entire belly, food. Oh, ho. Uh, you know, I talk earlier on now. Say, if you manage a job two times a day, you don't turn big man. For Nigeria, person uh, last night been one day advised people on a uh, balanced diet. As the presenter talk and talk and reach now, she said she just stopped, begin laugh herself. She said, He now for where person they try to no, complete two meals. Now you won't come begin to mention balanced diet. Balanced diet now, now for people who say don't chop belly food because things hard and cost of food still they rise, it never come down. So discuss how we fit and uh, bring lasting solution to this matter to this food crisis situation one day. I get CEO of Protect Ozone and now also farmer Augusti Party Ola Leko Nain Day with us live via Skype to discuss this matter. Oga, good morning. Good morning, Ola. Good morning. Thank you so much. Uh, Oga, me first of all, uh, I make I talk one where we say they on surface level. Person they talk, they say one egg now don't enter like 19 naira. Now say they import the chicken come. Ordinary egg go, I don't already talk, so I'm not going to chop egg again because I'm not going to buy, buy egg 60 to even 19 naira. I said, it's too cost. Person go talk, say, this food crisis matter. The solution they our face now, if then they keep people when go farm, where the food won't come out from. But from you, and be say, you'll be expert. What do you also feel, say, they contribute to this uh, food crisis where we say we they face so? Thank you for that um, wonderful question. Um, the food, uh, the, the problem, of increasing food price in Nigeria doesn't just start today. Mm. It is a systemic problem. Imagine for you to buy egg in the United States of America and it's cheaper than producing egg locally in Nigeria. Mm. That is a problem. And why is this problem existing? Is because of the inflation in the price of feed of chicken. So, for example, number one, um, our maize in Nigeria, which contributes to about 70% of chicken feed, it's skyrocketing every day. Now, our cattle, the cow we get for Nigeria, mm. go chop maize. You and me won't chop conflict. Chicken itself won't chop maize. Mm. So now, for an average farmer to feed their flock well, they need maize as an equation rate. And when we talk about animal production, it is garbage in, garbage out. So the quality of feed you give your animal is the quality of production of uh, egg and any other produce. So for you to have a cheap produce, that means the feed has to be has to reduce the cost of food has to re feed has to reduce then that is going to help the farmers to produce more then let, let's talk about transportation you know take a look at where these farms are for example in lagos we have a production in ikorodu before that production we get to highland a lot of problem you know there's no insurance the farmers are on their own then when you get to the market, the, the buyers are now the price takers. So the, the, the problem of this rising in price has to do with our system. Okay. So. All right. It's very important that you don't mention this point. And I like as you, you, you answer the question, the go. You take them away from issue of security. And, I make, and thank you so much that so you stick to that particular pattern. So you don't already talk and say, make we even leave farm headers issue one side. Uh, Nigeria um, food wala done day since you don't mention the issue of waiting uh, the feed where we say these animals need to start with. You don't talk about the issue of transportation. I should say storage. They inside the juice where we say you won't also give us this morning. But get waiting you talk now. We make me want enter to 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 stop you there. This issue of insurance very important matter. I got no vex. I know say again when we say farmers been they complain. You get one time where we say if they approach certain banks, you know, to help. Say banks don't even get desks when we say understand the agriculture value chain. We could even leave value chain, understand agriculture on its own from the planting to the harvesting and whatnot. So they're not really help to guide people when we say they won't come collect loan. That one on one side. 
when you mention this issue of insurance, uh, just discuss with me a bit. In, uh, insurance companies, they're they open, they're they receptive uh, to farmers to work with them uh, for Nigeria. Well, what's going to be the experience when they happen for that area? Well, thank you for that better question. Insurance company will rather insure goods coming outside of Nigeria, like clothes, cars, and everything, mm. because they see it as a dependable venture. But when we talk about agriculture, that has to do with nature and our climate. They feel that it is too risky for them to insure. And when we have insurance for agricultural produce, um, the, 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 the rate is very high. The interest rate is very high. Mm. So imagine a farmer paying 20 to 30% interest rate on getting stuff that is dependent on nature. So there is a problem. Any economy that is serious about uh, their citizens and their country we intervene when it comes to food security and food price. Okay. For example, in the United States, every farmer, they have insurance, and even their family, their children, have access to school reduction loans. Hmm. So these are things we can look at that is going to encourage people to come into agriculture and help stabilize agriculture. And I would like to mention very quickly, if you want to buy rice for Lagos, the price is different from the one where you go buy for all your states, different from the one you go buy for Abuja. So the government should help in regulation of the price. This is going to help the farmer a lot. Okay. Uh, make, we, make we enter another matter when concerned. I want to ask a very important question now concerning this issue of, I may use the same example where you say you don't use corn. Uh, from what you don't describe, let's say corn takes time to to national crop. Over dependence day on top of the matter. Uh, as it be now, you don't talk and people we don't they import the feed then from the kitchen. I mean sorry, from uh, abroad because for the chicken then because they waiting the on ground all day enough. I bet nervous answer me. Oh. The corn when we say we they dependent on, we they import now to feed chicken because say why we know they to grow. I be the one we say we they grow, we know they store them when make and corn they spoil. I mean, because say people just don't enter, they destroy corn farm. Which of them? So now let me tell you. In Nigeria, we have a very arable land. Yes. And water. A country like Burkina Faso has a very good arable land without water. Hmm. So we have all it takes to produce maize in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So as I said earlier. 70% of the cost of production of feed has to go into maize production. No, sorry. 70% of total cost of production yes. is on feed. Hmm. Now, when you have a country where human beings cannot sleep, even your crop on the farm cannot sleep, in a single day, the cattle farmers can pass through your farm and destroy your entire farm and there is nobody to hold responsible, and there is no insurance to run to, and there is no government to come into your head or rescue. Nobody will be encouraged to go into last-scale maize production. So this is having an effect on the little population of Nigeria. Hmm. So we might think the herders and cattle rearers um, the issue of headers and cattle areas is not getting to us, but it is getting to us is. even in our food production. Okay. We are seeing the effect by the day. We are not just seeing the effect. Even our children on board, they are lacking access to good and healthy food because of this issue. Right. So these are things we can look at. Okay. Um, Ogalaleko, what is the short-term solution where we say you feel give government right now? You say you're there in front of government, you're there in front of Ministry of Agriculture now. Then tell you say, oh yeah, Oga, what do you feel say we need to do in the short term? Because you know, say, this matter is a serious matter. Uh, uh, insecurity, now you carry the cap, stay for on top. But in terms of short term solution, to at least reduce this suffering, because they're talking about say, rising prices don't push about 7 million Nigerians under poverty line. What do you go suggest? So, 
if I have the opportunity to advise our government, mm. the immediate solution mm -hmm. will be local content initiative. Okay. Local content initiative. Mm -hmm. How we should encourage people to utilize our little resources for production. Okay. And our processing facility has to improve from depending on, uh, on developed countries to bring in technology. But not, because when they bring in technology, we are going to bring in expatriates for the repair. That means we are losing our GDP. Now, when we encourage youth to develop innovation in a local way, for example, we are one of the highest producers of tomato in Nigeria. And unfortunately, we are also the highest importer of tomato paste. So that is hilarious. So what is lacking? About half of our production, tomato production goes to waste. Uh, most especially when you transport, when you are transporting it from a uh, rural community to, to, to anywhere you are taking it, to. half of it gets to waste. So we can improve on local content initiative by, by processing on site using local technologies. That is going to save us a lot. And um, to quickly mention, the price of post harvest loss in Africa mm. is enough to power and provide electricity mm. to the entire Africa in a whole year. That is the price of post harvest loss. And for us to cut that short, we need to improve our local, produ local production and on site production. That is going to help us and it's going to be a nuclear idea in our country, Nigeria. Thank you so much, Ogasi Pasi Olalekon. Um, CEO Protect Ozone and also a farmer. I mean, the instance say you don't give today. This one are like A class, uh, you know, solutions and suggestions say you don't give government. And I know say then they listen uh, to say beyond the issue of insecurity, that one today important. But this point say you don't raise. We need to really look inward to find a solution. Because like I say, what thing we need a day all around us. Thank you very much, sir. Um, have a fantastic Thursday um, morning.